and we'll fly. Oh, we'll fly. Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. I'm working on videos now for like two hours now. I just finished. We're working since 4 6 10 pm now. Good timing, but yeah, a bit of editing done. I uh, gotta export them now. They should be done when I get home. It's for a series I'm doing, basically. I am hyped for Infinity War, so what I'm doing is I'm watching every single Marvel movie leading up to Infinity War. Focus, for God's sake, yeah. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing a series of uh, watching every one. And yeah, I've just uh, edited three of those episodes. Focus, God damn it! but yeah. Um, really hyped about that, obviously. But yeah, um, I've been editing for two hours now. And I'm going to be off to the game in a second. So yeah, uh, before that though, um, first leg was good. Obviously though, it zoomed in a bit too much. O obviously though, with Arsenal, you never know. Especially after Newcastle and Anderlecht. I am not confident about Arsenal unless we go like 5-0 up. It's quarter past six. I would like to have left earlier, but um, I was editing for two hours. It took longer than I thought, but uh, yeah. On my way to the Emirates, let's do this. And there is my train. I'm not gonna run because uh, it's not worth it, but I just missed my train, sick. At least I won't be late though, to be fair, so that's all right. Clear skies, the weather seems good. It's not even that cold either, so uh, that's a good thing. So as long as we go through, it will be a, a good night. And yes, before you say anything, yes, I do need a trim, okay? I need, I need a shave, I need a new haircut. It's flipping messy up there. Here we have the evolution of Arsenal's batch. And here is my view. Not too bad for 20 quid. The away fans already there in their numbers.
Yeah, so job done. Five one I got three one on the night. I'm happy but the first half until our second goal it was just it was so nervy. It was so so nervy. Uh, they could have scored in the first minute and almost scored. They had about three offsides which they could have scored them as well. They had a lot of great a lot of good chances to uh, really like take the lead and try and win the tie. They eventually got their goal they out of nowhere. A thirty yard shot from Tananolu, out of nowhere. Flipping goes straight into the bottom corner and suddenly we're in trouble and then we get a penalty now from where I was other side of the pitch it looked like he dived I'm not gonna lie it looked like he dived it looked like he went down like two seconds after the challenge so I don't know I can't really say much because it looked like a dive from where I was but we got a penalty luckily and the Welbeck scored and uh, just a minute later they had a handball claim, I think. They, they could have got a penalty. They, they weren't given one. They got a few yellows here and there for complaining. And yeah, um, that penalty though, settles our nerves a bit. We uh, attacked a lot more from that point because we were sitting back a lot. But then, Xhaka scored. What was that keeping? What was that keeping with Donnarumma? Donnarumma with the worst save. One of the worst saves I've seen. Like literally, one of the worst attempts, I mean, because he didn't save it. It somehow went in. And uh, yeah, luckily that Xhaka goal. Well, for me, that was enough. That was just about enough to uh, to hold our leads and to go on and win. And uh, we got a third anyway. We got uh, Welbeck to score again. Forgot to mention, there was a part at the end of the first half as well where there was about five deflections and somehow didn't go in. And we were lucky to get away with that as well. But yeah, uh, Milan had some other chances too. But yeah, as I said, Xhaka scored, then Welbeck scored. And we are through to the quarterfinals. Now the draw is on Friday when this vlog goes up. So. Uh, I'll know by then. Hopefully we avoid Let's Go for now, because I don't want to play them, but um, they are the toughest opposition left. We've got, well, them and Leipzig. Dortmund are out, so at least that's something. One more thing, right at the end, the Milan fans are singing, oh, AC Milan, right? They're singing, oh, AC Milan. And I saw BT Sport tweeted, like just now. They said that we were copying them, we were joining in. We're singing it too. No, 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 no. We, we were singing O Ospina. We were singing O Ospina, not O AC Milan. We were remixing it. We, we did the same tune, but we said Ospina instead of AC Milan. And uh, for some reason, BT Sport thought, oh, we joined in. We didn't join in, mate. We were singing Ospina. Almost home. But yeah, this was good. This was a good, good night. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.